on this week's episode, we're going to be talking about being conscious, how to be additionally conscious, and the vulnerability principle. So basically with being conscious, what the hell does that mean in terms of business? What I want you to think about it as is the smaller details definitely make the bigger picture. So being aware of those smaller details is essential to form that bigger picture. And from a startup standpoint, you want to think along the lines of number of problems that people are having. Noticing those problems in real time is a skill and it's a conditional skill that you develop over time. Someone needs to tell you to start doing it for you to start developing it. So in startup world, Start being conscious of your problems and other people's problems so you can start coming up with solutions for them. Right now, the biggest situation within the world in general is the fact that everyone is looking for the solution when really everyone should be looking for the problem. They're not finding the right problems to solve and coming up with solutions for issues that aren't really, that don't matter. Be conscious of your problems and other individuals and notice the smaller details within the bigger art so you can make that larger image or larger picture basically for the second small business tip conscious level number two now this is something where once you start being conditionally conscious of ideas and problems that people are having and things that for example i might be having a conversation with someone and he says something that i need for my business all right i'm writing it down right there most people will think that they can remember it and that's a wrap right there there's no way in hell that they're going to remember it they might 50 percent of the time it's basically that's space repetition for you which we'll talk about a lot later on that's something you guys don't need to stress yourself with right now, but conscious level two is all about, once you be conscious of starting to notice other people's problems within the situation and it's like live real time and you're writing it down, the second part is start being conscious of yourself and your habits and other people's habits. For example, over time I have had this little weakness where when I'm telling someone the price for a service or something that I'm offering, and it's something where I know I'm making a decent amount of money on. When I tell them the price, there's a little bit of hesitation from my end. And noticing stuff like that in terms of how you present and how you interact with people, being conscious of yourself and the reactions that people are giving you and noticing those trends is the second level of consciousness is, all right, I'm doing something and it's consistently putting this reaction on people. All right, I gotta change it up and try a different strategy. First step though is definitely start being conscious of problems, strategies, and stuff that's relevant to your business. Start noticing underneath the grain. Also to go along with conscious level two, we're talking about stuff like, once you get in the habit of starting noticing smaller things, uh, like ideas, problems, and stuff like that, it's an also a big thing. Once you're working on a tedious task, start looking for internet tools that alleviate it. Within today's day and age, you can almost find any software that's gonna alleviate any tedious work that you have to do, whether, I don't know, one is pro Proposify, one is Productive. So look out for stuff like that uh, where, and you have to be conscious that this is too tedious. That's something that comes up once you start doing too many tedious things at once. So start noticing that before it gets to the level where you're doing too many tedious things at once. For the third small business tip, what we're talking about is the vulnerability principle. Within that is specifically what I'm talking about is, um, the waxing clients and the guilt situation that I mentioned previously. Uh, basically, when I tell them the price, there's a little bit of hesitation from my end. The biggest, the l most important lesson from that situation is a client can sense when there's a little bit of weakness in the room, when there's a little bit of where there's when there's not enough confidence essentially when you're saying something and when there's not enough confidence in what you're saying that creates a vulner vulnerability on your end and once that vulner damn there's no way i'm gonna be able to say this vulnera vulnerability vulnera vulnerability all right i'm good vulnerability 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 second part is what sells vulnerability principle the vulnerability vulnerability the vulnerability <coughs> the vulnerability principle all right you good vulnerability vulnerability third tip is the vulnerability principle essentially with this principle there is two parts to it the first one is what I was talking about is the guilt when I tell clients a price that I know I'm making a little bit of money on, they can sense the weakness essentially within that. Once they do that, your case is over. And the biggest thing that leads to sales, which we'll talk about later, later is trust. To build trust, you need confidence. And within a small business situation, confidence is essential because you don't want them to smell the weakness that's in the room. If they get even 10 seconds of that, five seconds of that, it's over. They're gonna pull your string as much as they can. 
quick example of this actually a couple days ago we just signed a client for limbic i'm not going to name the name right now but essentially uh this client is was a situation where they agreed with me about a certain price then they reverted back on the agreement and then i had to put some additional pressure which really i hadn't done prior to this but since i was conscious that i have that situation where i feel guilty and there's that five second hesitation when i tell someone the price then this time i was pretty assertive with the situation and it provided a different result we're going to paste the link or the summary of this conversation within the bio of this video so you can check out for yourself on next week's episode we're going to be talking about the vulnerability principle part two and more specifically how to develop the trust which is what leads to sales and also we'll be talking about sales and how that is the most crucial element of any grassroots small business